Hey Columbine, it's Justin here giving you a little update. I wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes of what goes into a sermon process. Right now we're in a sermon series called Rooted, and we're exploring our roots and our identity in Jesus Christ, our identity in the faith, and uh, how we might go about discovering more about our roots, as well as how we can use those roots to grow, to thrive, to expand, to reach out. And so uh, what's coming up this coming Sunday is I'm preaching a sermon regarding our roots in the United Methodist Church and the famous theologian slash evangelist named John Wesley. I have a whole book here about John Wesley that you can see, as well as uh, a hymn list of uh, some different hymns that are in our hymn book, actually, um, on that John Wesley or Charles Wesley, his brother, uh, composed uh, during their lifetimes. And so we're going to be singing some of those this Sunday as well. And uh, I want to show you this page right here. Try to get that just right in my camera there. Um, because what I want to talk about this Sunday is grace. And what does it mean to have God's grace in our lives? What does it mean to have God's grace as an energizing presence that animates us and reanimates us over and over again in our lives? How we can react to God's grace, how we can spread God's grace in each and every aspect of our lives. And that's why I really want to talk about John Wesley and the United Methodist Church and our rootedness in that because it's a rootedness and grace and what it means to live lives full of grace live lives that are expanding with more grace to all the people that we find ourselves surrounded with on a daily basis over the next couple of weeks we'll also be exploring our rootedness in the united church of christ our rootedness in the presbyterian church usa as well as our rootedness in uh, more personal matters as well i hope you will join us this sunday it's going to be a fantastic uh exploration of john wesley i promise you it will not be boring it'll be exciting you'll think you should go out and read john wesley i promise you you probably should not do that that part is really boring but the sermon and worship will be fantastic sunday hopefully we'll see you see your face in worship right here at columbine see you on sunday thanks